In common language, the phrases lonely and alone are generally viewed as synonymous synonyms. But these two phrases truly represent something different in respect to behavioral health. For excellent physical and mental health, it is crucial to grasp the distinction between these two concepts. Humans are fundamentally social beings, and we require others to preserve our emotional well-being, but surprisingly, spending time alone is equally as crucial for us to connect more intimately with ourselves. Being alone is basically merely a state, it indicates that you are not around other people. Loneliness is an emotion, which defines a sensation of despair due to not having connection. For many individuals, the thought of being alone might hold a negative connotation. The concept of a loner has a societal stigma that indicates that one is lonely, an outcast or even dangerous. The existence is since as an unwillingly forced condition where individuals are not socially involved. The quality of being alone might even indicate that there is something truly wrong or flawed with a person. The phrase loneliness means that individuals are unsatisfied with their existing status. People are hunting for something that they need. For other people, the loneliness is like a chronic ailment where their own companionship is not enough. In fact, spending time alone may generate emotions of anxiety, panic attacks and despair and many people assume the remedy to this issue is to make sure they are constantly in the presence of another person. Other treatments include the use of alcohol or drugs to dull the sensations of loneliness. Imagine sitting alone in a room with no TV, internet, phone or external stimuli. No music, no street sounds or people. Just you and your ideas. Now assume the only other object in the room is a little gadget that delivers an electric shock to your body. Could you endure 10 minutes of isolation with your own thoughts? Or would you rather startle yourself? Surprisingly, experts have shown that a significant number of individuals would prefer to receive an electric shock than spend time alone with their thoughts. In the research, the length of time that individuals spend alone with their own thoughts varied from 6 to 15 minutes. Many of the earliest research had college student volunteers, most of whom claimed that the alone time was not particularly pleasurable and that it was hard to focus. Interestingly, further studies done with people from a diverse array of backgrounds, ranging in age from 18 to 77, and found remarkably comparable findings. Surprisingly, even elderly persons did not demonstrate any special affinity for being alone with simply their thoughts and emotions. Overall, respondents did not appreciate spending time, even for small durations, alone in a room with nothing to do except think, ponder, or fantasize. Instead, individuals in the studies loved participating in external activities such as listening to music, using a smartphone, or giving themselves small electric shocks. In fact, 67% of males and 25% of women decided to shock themselves as a means to pass the time and avoid being alone with their own thoughts. Out of a series of 11 research, the findings tend to show that individuals feel uncomfortable with being alone with their thoughts. In other words, doing practically anything is better than doing nothing. Researchers question if people's connection to and frequent usage of contemporary technology may have any effect on the outcomes of the research. Perhaps, technology like cell phones and social media has conditioned individuals to shy away from only utilizing their own ideas of keeping themselves busy. This does not necessarily indicate that the quick pace of contemporary life, or the ubiquity of easily accessible technological gadgets, is producing this condition. Instead, experts are saying that the gadgets are a reaction to people's need to constantly have something to do. It is vital to differentiate between being alone and being lonely. A person may be alone, yet not feel lonely. It is important to give the correct labels to properly grasp these bodily and mental experiences. The capacity to be alone and be satisfied is a sign of personal progress and self-awareness. When individuals are alone with their thoughts and emotions, they might acquire a more comprehensive and grounded view on life. A job like this normally involves a significant degree of reflection, which usually only happens when one is alone. When done freely from a healthy mentality, this alone time helps individuals become more introspective and think for themselves. 
Often, individuals are readily persuaded by the sentiments, attitudes, and conduct of others they are around. The act being alone might drive people to ponder and make better choices and decisions about who they are and what they want from life. Learning to be comfortable with oneself includes being comfortable with being alone. This does not imply that individuals should seek to live like a hermit. Isolation is not the objective. It is crucial that individuals have a solid social support network. However, people need to have the capacity to be alone with their own ideas and emotions. People cannot possibly have a good connection with others if they have not learned how to have a healthy relationship with themselves. Individuals should recognize that it is normal to be bored. If individuals never learn how to be alone, then there is the risk that they may feel lonely. An over-dependence on other people might decrease a person's independence and self-confidence. When individuals learn to accept and know themselves, they gain better understanding of how to form more healthy and durable relationships in the future. Even then, loneliness may strike, whether you're alone or not, and when it does, try to not sink completely into it. Self-soothe by admitting such sensations in order to lessen their intensity and start the process of healing. If you become mired in negative thinking or judgment about your loneliness, it may damage your willingness to engage with people and make it difficult to feel comfortable and confident socially. Ultimately, understanding your sentiments may all help disarm feelings of loneliness, as can keeping ties to yourself, your environment, and your loved ones, no matter how physically alone you are. That's because there's nothing to fear when it comes to being alone, sometimes, the isolation helps you feel anchored in the beauty of a moment. We hope you liked this video, like and subscribe for more educated videos like this.